The Ingram angle has exclusively obtained leaked footage from a Department of Labor panel about transgenderism. Fox's own Matt Finn is in our West Coast newsroom with all of the alarming details. Matt. Hi, Laura. The video was obtained by a congressional source and shows trans activists speaking at a Department of Labor webinar about how to provide safe and nurturing spaces for trans employees. One of the activists with the pronouns she, her and goddess told attendees that some white men don't acknowledge trans identities and want to criminalize trans people. That's what we're dealing with is like really reclaiming all those identities that have always existed, right? But because of colonization and um, um, those cis white men not understanding and being confused about what they saw, like, well, you're either male or female, that's it. Another trans activist said that if insurance companies will not lower co-payments for gender reassignment surgeries, then she might go back to sex work to pay for it. If I go get an elective surgery, a top or bottom surgery, and my co-payment is four and five, eight thousand dollars I might as well go pay for the surgery myself and back out here sex working if that's the case. Republican Congressman Matt Gates sent a letter to the Labor Secretary Martin Walsh on Monday requesting more information about the webinar and asking Walsh to investigate, writing in part, the conversation is entirely inappropriate and the claims made are without any merit. It is shocking that DOL employees are using their time at work to have an open-ended partisan forum consisting of abrasive social commentary. We have reached out to the Labor Department for response, but so far have not heard back just yet. Laura. Matt, thank you. And joining me now is the aforementioned Florida Congressman Matt Gates, who got his hands on this video. Congressman, now, what does any of this have to do with furthering the mission of the department? What am I missing here? Well, what's bizarre is that in the name of inclusion, our government is embracing the policies of exclusion. And it's really state-sponsored racism for your money to be used by the Department of Labor to try to say that all of society's fault flaws are the fault of white men. So I believe we have to expose these things when they happen. I believe when we retake the House, we have to actually use the power of the purse to stop this. And then when we retake the White House, we have to reorient the these agencies where they actually work for people's freedoms. I mean, if the Department of Labor is going to be focused on pronouns instead of the freedom of people to actually work in our country, why even have a Department of Labor? Well, good. I think that's a great question. That's, that's, that's what we should do is get rid of the whole department. Now, I want to play another clip from uh, this panel. For a long time, I had this trans identity, right, that did not allow me to to center my femininity. And I, I often walk that line of being looking at androgynous. Now I have allowed myself to go completely into what I like to call my goddess mode. I'm both male and female. Um, I, you know, I am just energy. I am energy. Uh, Congressman. Again, the the purpose of the Labor Department. I mean, I shouldn't laugh. This is actually serious. And the, the, someone's paying for this somewhere along the line. Mm -hmm. I imagine maybe they do this for free around the country, but I doubt it because a lot of these people mm -hmm. get paid big money to be consultants in this arena. Speaking of the goddesses and centering femininity and all these important <laughs> Labor Department topics for birthing people. I'm I'm going to find out exactly how much this cost because we may see a circumstance under divided government where we have to shut down the government in order to get what we need to secure the border or to de wokeify these agencies. And if it comes to that, I at least want the American people to see the government that we are shutting down. Literally, people focusing more on pronouns than people and whether or not one has gone into goddess mode effectively probably doesn't inform on whether or not they are an effective worker in our society and our in our economy. I remember the Trump economy where we had rising wages and success and actual labor that was prosperous. Now under Joe Biden, we just have a weird labor department. That seems like a bad trade. Now, Matt, at some point, I think the Republicans, more than just you and a few others saying this, actually have to start saying we're not spending any more money on this. I mean, we're not. I mean, right now we could do that with the U.S. military, but there are too many establishment GOPers who would never touch a dime of military spending. But this is happening across every agency. It's one of the reasons why we're not recruiting 
up to the goals that we need for each branch of the military, as we just discussed. So this has got to be defunded I, across the board. I do think we're going to have to bifurcate our analysis. There will be some agencies like the Department of Defense that we have to keep around and they will have to be de-wokeified. But there may be other agencies where the rot is so deep, like at the Department of Education or the Department of Labor or at the EPA, where we really can't salvage a meaningful government mission for our people. And the question is whether or not the Republicans will endeavor to fight on that and to expose it and to actually use the power of the purse. Our friend Rand Paul has a saying, when the Democrats are in power, the Republicans are the conservative party. And when the Republicans are in power, there is no conservative party. That's why these primaries you're reporting on tonight are so important, because we need the backup to have a spine to stop this, to shut it down and to actually make our government work for our people. Yeah, the establishment keeps failing. We don't want to reelect them. Congressman, thank you.